Hello everyone, in today's session, we will do a brief survey of Microsoft Azure portal. We will briefly see how you can begin working with Microsoft Azure portal. We will browse Azure services, find your resources, customize the portal and manage Azure on the go. So let's move on to the homepage of Azure portal. This is the homepage of the Azure portal. Here you can see the recent and recommended services across the top list with a list of recent resources that you have recently visited. Then you can quickly nav navigate to the subscriptions, resource groups, all resources or even the dashboard. Then we have a button, of, button for tools that help you manage your Azure environment and links to re useful resources like the technical documentation or even the Azure Updates Quick Start Center. On the left, you can find the Azure portal menu that helps you browse to resources by their type. In my menu, I can see the resource groups, app services, and much more. If I go to the top of the list and click on all services, this will take me to the full services list where I can browse this by category. These are all the categories present in Azure services. I click on all services and scroll through this list so you can see the massive amount of Azure services that are available to you. Now if I want to, to see the services related to only SQL, I can simply type SQL in the search bar. And this will give me a list of all the services related to SQL. If I click on any of the services or just hover on the service, I can see a hover card. If I click on this star, this will be added to my favorites list. To see all this list of favorite services that I have already in my favorite list, I can simply click on favorites. And these are the services that are already present in my favorite list because I've already added them to my lists. Now, I'll take you to the home page. And I want to draw your attention to this corner the right corner of the page. Here you can see the account that you have logged in. If you click on the account, you can see a drop down from which you can see that you have a sign out option. You have the option to view your account. You have the option to switch the directory and also sign in with a different account. Then, then the next icon is the feedback icon. This is where you can provide a feedback about your experience with the portal that goes directly to the portal team. The next icon is the support and troubleshooting icon. From here you can see any issues that may be impacting the availability of Azure regions and Azure services with the service health. Towards the middle of the icons we can see the icon of settings. From here you can change the appearance and startup views, you can change the color theme, you can even change the language or the regional format, the date, time and currency. Then you can also switch between the Azure Active Directories you are a member of and select the subscription you want to see in the portal. Towards the left of the settings area, we have an icon of notifications. This is where you can see the changes since your last login. La right now, I don't have any notification. Then the next icon is the uh, short of the is the shortcut of directories and subscription and the last icon is is from where you can launch the azure cloud shell the cloud shell is a browser based shell that enables you to create and manage azure resources from the command line without needing to install and configure command line tools on your workstation we can even switch from bash to powershell This is the PowerShell. Next, you can see the search bar. The search bar is, the, is a great tool for quickly finding resources or the resource groups, services, marketplace offerings, etc. That's it for today. Thank you.